Hi there, and welcome to this tutorial video for modern animated percussion. Before watching this, please take a few minutes to view the overview video, which outlines the basic features of this highly flexible instrument. If you prefer just to hear the sounds, then the Maltese in action video is for you. Here I'll be looking in detail at the different engines of MAP, including the browsers, sound sources, randomization, cores, step animator, dynamic effects, and the mixing and master pages. I won't be playing too many of the sounds and presets here, but instead I'll be explaining exactly what each engine within MAP does to the sound. That means that usually I'll just be demoing simple sounds as I demonstrate each parameter in turn, so that you can hear what's going on. Programming here is from the ground up, but has similar functionality to SampleLogic's Rhythmology and Arpology products. It's kind of a hybrid taking the best aspects of both. So if you're familiar with either of those, then you should feel at home pretty quickly. Before I delve into the individual engines, let's take a look at the interface and the signal flow. MAP runs in the full version of Contact and is one big NKI instrument, with all of the browsing and sound shaping capabilities built into the interface itself. Each sound starts off as a one-shot source sample, you can see them in each of the four cores here. Each of these four sounds is run through a separate step animator and dynamic effects sequencer. Here are the step animators and dynamic effects engines for all four cores. Each sound has mixing controls, and then they're summed in the master panel with more effects added. So let's start with the browser, and there are actually four different browsers. One for individual core presets, one for source sounds, one for step animated presets, and finally the main multi-core preset browser, which will load all four cores complete with all animations and effects. You can click these icons to save your own multi-core presets, or use this button to reset the chosen preset to default. The source presets of a single core can also be toggled through using the C and D keys of your keyboard. This is great for fast auditioning. You can browse by instrument and genre tags by clicking one or more of them, and the results will be filtered. In each browser it's also easy to select your own favourite presets, just click the hearts. You can then recall them in the filter tab. Your favourites will be remembered even when the contact instrument is closed and you load a new instance of map. Use the other filter tab options to load only certain parameters of a preset, either the source sounds, step animations or the effects. Here's just loading the sound sources from a preset. Now I'll load the step animations from a different preset. And lastly loading the FX engine from a different preset and keeping everything else the same. A quick note on playing map. The orange key on middle C will play all four cores together and the four coloured keys on D, E, F and G are assigned to play individual cores 1 through 4 respectively. So let's now look at an individual core and I'll demo using core 1, the pink one just here but all four cores operate in the same way. Load a core preset by clicking here for the browser or tab through with the arrows. That will load up a source sound and accompanying step animations, dynamic effects and mix parameters. Change the source in the same way, but this will only change the source sound, leaving the effects intact.
This display shows an overall view of the four cores. Open up the step animator here, the dynamic effects here, or use this button to solo the core. So this is the step animator engine for core one. Most of these controls I think are quite self-explanatory. Number of steps is at the top here with easy options for adding, removing and copy pasting to other pages. Turn each step on and off here. Set velocities here. There are velocity presets just here. You can introduce random velocity changes here. This dial sets the key velocity sensitivity when in is selected and ignores key velocity completely when set to out. Set the length of each step here. The quantize key will make your pattern a perfect bar. See how hitting quantize will adjust the length of your sequence so that it always plays a full bar. Transpose is here with presets 2. Duration of each step is here. Then there are stutter controls for stutter on and off and the stutter speed of each step. Panning is at the bottom here. The controls at the left hand side are for overall speed of playback and playback direction. You can also play for a predefined number of cycles. There's a full range of step animated presets just here. Either use the arrows or open the browser. A reminder here that I'm only demoing one core right now. There are normally four that play together. Don't forget that you can turn any core into a one hit wonder by switching off the animation just here. Next up, the dynamic effects engine accessed either here or here. There are six effect slots where you can load 23 different effects. There are presets too, both for individual effects and the entire page. With this engine you can easily change the number of steps just here and also the speed that the matrix runs so these six effects don't have to run at the same speed as the step animator. Clicking on an FX expand arrow just here you can tweak each effects parameters. Here you can turn on the step sequencer which gives another level of control and ties this sequencer to a particular effect parameter. For example, in the case of the vowel effect, it's the cutoff point. Next up, the mixing page here. For each core, you can control the overall level and panning. Attack and release envelope dials are here. The filter section has high cut, resonance and a dial which links key velocity to the high cut frequency. EQ presets can be loaded and the intensity dialed in just here. The energy dial drives the signal harder and produces a saturation effect. Next up the master section. 
This part of the signal flow applies effects to the entire instrument across the output of all cores. There are six slots for hot swappable effects, all with many different adjustable parameters. Click on each effect to open and adjust the settings. There are also a range of master presets. Let me finish up by walking through the flexible randomization options. Almost any of the various sounds and parameters that I've talked about up to this point can be randomized using the menu just here. Choose the cores and elements that you want to randomise and hit the random dice button. This feature really is inspirational, from helping to choose sound sources, to mixing up the step animators with a predefined scale type for the transposition. You can even randomise the master effects or mix page parameters. The random play button will choose new parameters each time a step animator loop cycles around, meaning that you never hear the same sequence twice. I've tried to cover most of the elements of modern animated percussion here without taking too much time. There are things I haven't looked at, like the latch control and the output controls. The manual is a goldmine of further information, so do check that out. And thanks so much for watching.